In this video, we will discuss the problem string formation from substring. The problem says that we have been given a string S that consists, uh, the task is to check if it can be constructed by taking a particular substring and adding it several number of times. So let us see some example. So let us say that if we have been given the string as AB, AB and AB, right? So if this string has been given, then what we can do is if we pick up this substring, let's say AB and we add it several times, let, let's say we add it three times. So in that case, we are able to generate this original string. Let us say that if we have a substring like ABC, 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 right? If you have a string like ABC, 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 then what we can do is we can take a substring ABC out of it and we can add it three times to get this substring to get this string right and let us say that if we have a string like ABCD so in this we cannot take any substring and add it several number of times such that we can get ABCD right so now in this problem the thing is how to do this right so basically in this problem one of the ways is to like in like people will think of a brute force manner right so in the brute force manner people can say that what we can do is we can gen maybe generate all the substrings and then we can try to add or something like that maybe they can do it like that or maybe they can think of some other brute force approach but the brute force approach will take a lot of time complexity right the brute of the time complexity of the brute force approach will be very very high so instead of doing that what we can what we can observe is basically this problem is nothing but pattern matching okay this pro problem consists of the concept of pattern matching and in terms of pattern matching we can say pattern matching the best algorithm in strings for pattern one of the best algorithms is KMP right in strings we can apply the KMP algorithm for pattern matching so that is what we will be doing here as well so what we can say is that uh, like if, if we have to talk about the pattern like KMP algorithm so what we can say for that algorithm is in that particular algorithm what we do is we find the longest we find the longest prefix okay we find the longest prefix which is also a suffix right which is also a suffix now now what do i mean by that the longest what do i mean by this thing that we have to find a uh, longest uh, like longest prefix which is also a suffix so let's say we have a b we have a b a b and a b so in this case if you will observe this if you will observe this part so this is this is prefix part right so you can see this is the longest prefix which is also the suffix because if you see the suffix part if you see from here till here right so if you see for the suffix part so this is the longest prefix which is also the suffix right so basically longest prefix which is also a suffix we will have an array for that in k in kmp we will have an array for that and then we can implement it further right so let us let us try and take a uh, help of a sample example so let's say what we will be doing is like uh, we'll be making a lps array first of all so let's say the string is a b c d and then ABCD okay so what you will be able to observe is okay what you will be able to observe is we will have an array of the same size as the string so 1 2 3 4 like we'll be having a size of 8 1 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 and then 8 okay so what we'll be doing is if initially like we will have this LPS array okay and we'll mark the LPS we'll mark the LPS of 0 as 0 because if we are at the starting then uh, definitely there is going to be no common then what we'll have is we'll have two pointers one pointer will be at the starting that is i is equal like i will be 0 j will be 1 if these two characters are not the same like i'll check if these two characters are the same or not suppose that if these two characters are not the same right so in that case like i'll say that i'll uh, i'll have a 0 here and then i'll move my j okay i'll do a j plus plus i'll move to this then then what happens i i can see again that these two characters are not the same so again if these two characters are not the same then uh, like uh, I, I will be moving again right so basically one by one if I if I keep on building this thing up so if you'll observe one I am once I'm here so I'll again put a zero if I'm here so what will I put I'll simply uh, if I'm here right so again the same like same scenario is there but once I'm at this A I can say one common is there right uh, if I'm at this uh, B then uh, that means that this much part is common right so length two is common then uh, moving forward if I will observe like uh, one of these things I don't need to have so if I am uh, like at C then three part is common right then if I am at D so A B C D is common right till here right so basically this is what will happen and LPS of like LPS of n minus 1 will tell me what's the status if the LPS of n minus 1 is equal equal to 0 in that case I, I it, it indicates that there is no longest uh, longest prefix that is also a suffix right so in that case I'll simply return a false otherwise even if it takes this then even I have to check for it okay so like what will what we have to do in this part otherwise we I'll tell you so let us say that we have a string a b a b a b a b so what happens is like this is the this is the longest uh, prefix like this is the longest prefix 
that is also a suffix so let's say the length of this longest prefix is n okay so basically total length will be what there will be a total length right total total length of this string is n okay total length of this string is n and in that case the length of this part is nothing but n minus n and also one more thing that you need to notice is n is what n is nothing but what k k is a k is where k is an integer into the length of the pattern right length of the pattern now what do i mean by that so basically you can say that uh, like if you repeat k times a b then you will get this particular string right so basically if you repeat if you repeat four times a b then you will get this string and what is a b a b is nothing but two right so that's that's nothing but uh, like this is nothing but n into n right and now you can easily observe like if you if you will see from that part also so basically uh, like uh, this thing will be there like n minus n minus l uh, n minus l thing will be here also so basically basically if you if you will try and observe right so if if you will try and observe so uh, according to the kmp algorithm what should happen is like this thing like uh, n minus like uh, like this thing like l uh, should be divisible by n minus l okay now what is n minus l i am saying this left over part right so basically these things should this this thing should be equal to zero right it should be divisible then only you will say in the end that it is possible right so this is what you will be doing let us try and implement the code for this so what i will be doing first of all is i'll be having let's say int n is equal to s dot size okay so first of all i'll be initializing the size and then what i will be doing is i'll be having int i is equal to zero okay and then j is equal to one okay after this after this part is done so what i will be doing is i'll say that while uh, j is lesser than uh, j is lesser than the size of the string okay uh, j is lesser than the length of the string and i will say that if it happens that s of i is equal equal to s of j right if if both of them uh, are the same characters in that case what will i say i'll say that lps of as i mentioned the lps will be increasing right so i'll say that lps of j is equal to nothing but uh, i plus one okay I, it will depend on i and then it will increase then i'll increment my i as well as my j right but suppose that if the ith ith and the jth are not the same ith character and the jth character of the strings are not the same in that case i need to check if my i is pointing to the first character right if, if that means that i am at the first character right so suppose i am at the first character so if i am at the first character then what i can say is that if i am at the first character then lps of j will be equal to zero only right uh, and then like if i am at the first character so lps of j will be zero and I'll, I'll i'll say that i need to do j plus plus okay okay after this part is done like after this part is done so what will i do in the in the else part suppose that i am not at the first character so in that case i'll say that i need to update my i every time so i is equal to nothing but what the lps of i minus one that is the previous previous uh, previous longest uh, longest prefix sub, uh, sub uh, prefix uh, suffix that was there that at that point of at that uh, index i need to point myself okay and once i'm done with this part so what i will say is that if it happens that the lps of lps of n minus one suppose that the L lps of n minus one is equal equal to zero in that case what i can do is i can simply return the false because what will happen in this case if the lps of n minus one is equal to zero in that case it is not possible right because uh, the longest uh, the longest prefix uh, suffix prefix that is also a suffix does not exist right otherwise what i'll say is i'll i need to return whether n is uh, like whether this length n right whether this length is divisible by n minus l or not okay i need i need to check right uh, I have written this L longly. Basically, I need to check whether n is divisible by n minus l or not. Okay, if it is, if if, if n is divisible by n minus l, so that means the KMP algorithm uh, will be satisfied, and that's how I'll be doing it. So if n is uh, n minus, uh, this thing will be there. Right? If if n is divisible by n minus n length, so if it's equal equal to zero, in that case I'll return a true. Otherwise, I'll return a false. Let's try and compile this code to see if it works on samples. Okay, so we are getting a compilation error. It's saying that LPS. Okay, I'm, I haven't declared the LPS, so I need to do that as well. So I'll say that uh, vector of int, right, and LPS of n size, and I'll say that LPS of 0 is equal to 0, basically. Now let us try and compile this code to see if it works. It's evaluating. Okay, so you can see we are getting the same sample output. Let's try and submit this code. So you can see that our solution was able to pass all the test cases and talking about the time complexity of this particular approach it will be order of n and the space complexity of this approach will be order of n as well why because we are using extra space for the lps array in case if you understood uh, this explanation make sure to hit the like button thank you for watching this video